So I thought I had been here before, but when I pulled up, I realized I hadn't. Also, I wanna take this opportunity to show off my amazing $5 rain boots. Cute little turtle. Huh, this is pretty different. I've never seen this guy before. I like that he's uh, smoking a cigar. Fish dish, but that kind of looks, yeah, definitely new. I have no idea what this is, but I can't ignore this shiny thing. Glass owl. I like the colors on that. Mm, looks like it's got a little uh, damage. Yeah, $8 as is. Well, from afar, I freaked out, but now that I'm up close, I realize it's reproduction. It's brand new. Uh, yeah, definitely brand new. I got really excited to see a mermaid uh, just sitting out on a shelf like that. <laughs> They're everywhere. Now I feel really silly. Funny looking dogs here. But $10 is probably what I'd charge for them too. Wow, this place is huge. It's so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be outside. You know, I have kind of a love-hate relationship with these. Sometimes they sell instantly and sometimes they sit forever. Ooh, I've never seen the clown set in these block puzzles. 19, I think it's one of those German ones. Yeah, literally says Germany, hello. <laughs> the display of this is pretty much making me uh, want both things. They look really pretty together. Is that Snow White? Kind of looks like her. Lady Liberty. Huh. Oh, yeah, I can see her hat now. Oh, wow, the illustrations on this book are beautiful. Uh, I've gotten antique German books in the past. And it all depends about subject matter and how many illustrations are in it. They usually sell for good money, but it also takes a while most of the time. <laughs> the King. <laughs> That would be really fun uh, above, above my toilet paper holder. Oh, wow, this is huge. I've seen the large Jesus one, but this is like super sized Jesus. 28 is definitely a fair price for a collector. Um, I'm not gonna mess with it though. Cornhole clown, those are always fun. So love this chalkware here. Ooh, this booth has some really cute stuff. Like the butterfly dish. It's a hobbyist piece, eight bucks. Uh, I feel like I could get 15 for that, but it doesn't leave enough room. I love those mushroom mugs, but too close again. Yeah, very visually appealing. 50% <laughs> off love the wedding cake toppers but I don't see a price on it and it's got a little damage at the base but I mean for chalkware it's in pretty good condition what about this is this Mary had a little lamp four dollars <laughs> uh, looks broken though oh how unique is he I normally see him and they're a lot smaller he's definitely got a couple condition issues but he's only $6 and I kind of feel like <laughs> someone needs to give this monkey a home. He's got a kind of Sherlock Holmes vibe going uh, and he's jointed, which is definitely different. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Oh, the little bone china figurines are so cute. <laughs> the pandas have such a great expression. <laughs> Uh, I don't like when they're glued though because sometimes I get nervous that I'm gonna break them when I pull them off. Oh, and the little tiger family. Oh, but the dachshunds are the best. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. I would definitely keep those though. I just had to pull these ones out. Uh, they are definitely adorable and it's only $6 for the pair, but they have like hot glue strings on them from being glued to the paper. Oh, I love this bear. He's like a mustardy gold color. 12 bucks, that's definitely a good price. It leaves a little room, but I think I'm gonna hold out. Ooh, I like the ashtray. Uh, 
treasure craft. Those don't sell for that much. These are Circo. <laughs> Eight bucks for the pair. That's a good price. I feel like I could probably get fourteen, fifteen. Oh wow, it's a peacock. I think I've seen one of these, at least not for a long time. And for two dollars, I mean, it's got a little paint loss, but it's pretty spectacular. Um, it's kind of a steal. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Hmm, what's this planter? I do like the texture on it. 18. Hmm, I'm not sure if I can get down with that. Uh, this is definitely unique, but 10 bucks, I don't think it has much resale value, honestly. Ooh, this is fun. I wish there was a pair, but it's only $3, so I'm not gonna complain too much. I feel like you could even repurpose it and put like a succulent or something in it. Uh, it's super heavy. It's like at least five or six pounds. I might just end up throwing this in my booth. Vanity mirrors. But a little too plain Jane for me. This is really neat. Definitely looks like it's got some age to it and it's only is that say $22.50? feel like that's super cheap. The bear tiles are cute. $8 for the pair. I'm not crazy about the frames. Oh, I'm just noticing it's cracked. Oh, wow. That head vase is huge. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's just sitting here. <laughs> 45 Well, that's definitely a deal. I'm a little overwhelmed by this, honestly. I feel like maybe there's something I'm not seeing. Uh, I'm gonna come back to this. I also really love this piece of pottery. It's pretty unique. $12. Uh, $89. It's got a little age. The colors are really nice. Hmm. Huh. Oh my gosh, this lamp is so cool. I love this like Art Deco look. Oh, and it says it works. $39, that's that's a really good price. If I was buying it for myself, I would jump on it. Uh, even for resale, I could make some money, but it might take a little while. I have to admit, I really wasn't expecting this room. This is the first thing you see when you walk upstairs. There's a lot of things I'm interested in, so I'm gonna double back to this booth at the end. Chalkware. Uh, I'm not so crazy about the pattern nor the colors, or, or I should say lack thereof, but 12 is definitely a good price. Uh, what's going on with this funny guy? Uh, I love the big eyes. Hmm. It's definitely pretty neat. It's older than I thought it was too, but I'm pretty sure uh, he's priced at retail. Wow, I'm pretty sure this is a super rare piece. Sprinkler, like laundry powder or whatever. <laughs> I know there's a correct name, but oh, it is a rare piece and they know it. And the price reflects that. It's uh, on sale for 75. <laughs> it's definitely neat though. Good grief. Well, talk about visually appealing. Not only is this display perfection, but it's such quality. Needless to say, I'm pretty much into everything. Uh, the jade art vase and, of course, these tall cat salt and pepper shakers. 28. Mm, that doesn't leave that much room. It's definitely a fair price, though. Wow, those are so spectacular. Okay, I do have to check this thing out. I feel like 23 is a good price, but I'm not the most familiar with jade art. I've just started getting more into it recently. Yeah, there's definitely a lot to see here. Nothing so far for me though. Also, how is all their furniture in this good condition? That is absolutely insane. It's all like from like the 50s to 70s, but it somehow looks brand new. That's so wild. This orange chair is definitely stealing the show for me. Uh, they're both in pristine condition, but how do you not love that orange color? Oh my gosh, in this sofa. Oh, oh. 
wow, I'd be so afraid to have that in my house. I'd be like, please do not sit on this. <gasps> Whoa, this looks like Murano. It, it is, it's even got the sticker. <laughs> Um, well, I'm not the biggest Murano person, but I'm pretty dead obsessed with that butterfly. And again, the color is spectacular. If the clerk looked at me on the monitor, she'd probably be like, what in the world is that girl doing? I've just been like pacing back and forth. Uh, this wall pocket's nice, but it's kind of crack. 18, yeah, I can't do that. That is not what I thought it was. Uh, it almost looked aluminum from far away. The portraits on these frames are so pretty. Uh, I really like that style, but they're pretty big framed. These cats are kind of different. I've seen ones like it, but never these exact ones. And they're ceramic. Uh, they almost look like wood from far away. Let's see. 16 for the pair and their hobbyist. I don't think I can do anything with that. Oh, this little lamb is so cute, but definitely is new. This lady head base is gorgeous. I love her art deco look. She's only $18, which is a great price. Uh, she's a little uneven on the bottom, which makes me a bit nervous. And then she has this huge chunk missing from the side of her hat. It does look to be a manufacturer's defect um, as instead of like a just straight chip, but it's a little coarse and it's pretty noticeable. For 18, I think it's a little much um, just because I wouldn't want to sell her that high with the defects. This is a fun cookie jar. Oh, it's 29. I'm not crazy about the brown though, and I wish it was just a tad smaller. It would cost a lot in shipping materials to pack this. It's been a little bit since I've had one of these frog scrub brush holders, but whoa, that's just really expensive. Hmm, dolphins. Can't tell how old they are. Oh, they're Norcrest. Huh. Well, they're definitely not 50s Norcrest, but Norcrest nevertheless, $16. I've actually never seen that before. I think I'm gonna go ahead and look them up. But first, I have to check out Marilyn. I know she's newer, but oh, she's the mug, 16. It's a little bit high for resale for me. She is amazing though. I'm a little surprised. The average sold price for the dolphins was 15. I definitely thought it would have been a little bit more. Oh, this rabbit planter is so funny. <laughs> Well, $9 is definitely a good price, um, but I feel like I'd probably end up selling him for like 17 maybe. And this style is kind of hit or miss. Sometimes it sells instantly and sometimes it takes a long time. Uh, not much in a gambling mood today, though it is really fun. This hobbyist Santa plate is pretty fun a good price but it costs a lot to ship those and even though it's only four dollars I feel like I'd only sell it for like 15. <laughs> what is this goofy little lion? It's got like a worm nose. <laughs> it's real fur too. It's definitely a little strange. All right so I circled the entire place and I've thought about this lamp now, I really like it, and it's $40. I do think I could make some money on it, but I've decided to pass. It's this head vase that I can't stop thinking about. All right, so I've thoroughly inspected her. She's in near perfect condition. She's got like the tiniest faint hairline up at the top, but she's Relpo, and because of her size, she's really hard to find. So I am going to go ahead and grab her. Uh, I'll be able to almost double my money.